Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discover a lightweight JavaScript library called Charming JS. Make sure to stick to the end of this tutorial where I show you how to add a nice fade-in effect to your text using this library. So, the main purpose of Charming JS is to split HTML elements that contain text into individual characters wrapped in a set of sub-elements. Although that could be done manually, this library makes it easier, especially when we have long paragraphs to deal with. I mean, imagine having to apply an animation to a paragraph of 300 words, which requires you to split the paragraph into individual characters and to put every single one of them in a span. That is actually feasible manually, however, it will take an eternity to do so, not to mention how boring of a task that could be. So, let's create our project folder and files. As you can see, we have an H1 that contains a pretty long block of text that we want to split into characters. First and foremost, we need to include the library to the project, which can be done only through downloading it using npm or yarn. Then, we are going to use Browserify and Watchify to create the bundle. If you don't know what is Browserify, make sure to check out my Browserify tutorial. That done, we need to call require to get the charming function, then get the element we want to split. Now all we need to do is to call the charming function and pass in the element as a parameter and that's it. So, let's take a look at what just happened to the h1 text. The charming function takes another optional parameter which is the configuration object. The first property we are going to see is the tag name property. As you can see, Charming.js splits the text and wraps every single character in a span tag by default. We can set the wrapper to be any other HTML element instead of span using the tag name property and setting the wanted element's name as a value. For the time being, we are splitting the text into individual characters. Furthermore, we can also split the string into individual words instead, based on a certain delimiter or separator. 
We can do that by using the split function, which takes a delimiter as a parameter, and it returns the transformed string after the separation of words, wrapped into a set of spans, or any other wrapping element chosen by the tag name property. Keep in mind that the separator could be a character, a string, or a regular expression. Finally, Charming.js adds a class to each sub-element, whether it's a character or a word. The default class is composed of the string char and the element number in the text. That said, we can customize these classes using the setClassName property, which is a function that takes two parameters. The first parameter of setClassName is the index of the element, and the second one is the value of the element. So we can combine both of these parameters to create custom class names. Again, this works in both cases whether we are splitting the text into words or characters. Now, I'll leave you with the creation of the fade-in text effect, so make sure to subscribe to not miss any of my future tutorials, and I will see you in the next one.